Hello fellow YouTubers. This is an update on the rain catchment system. Last couple days we've had several inches of water. As you can see right here I have about 125 gallons. There's a problem. I got algae growing in. So what are we going to do? We're going to pour about a cup of bleach in and we're going to recirculate it with our fresh water pump. Now the problem is I got this two inch fitting here and my pump takes a garden hose connection which is about 5 eighths. So we're going to have to make this connection right here. With that being said, I'll show you how to make this connection. It's very simple. All you have to do is just pick it up at any home improvement store. Let's get started. Okay YouTubers, here's the fittings. This is very simple. Male goes inside the female thing and we're going to press. Now, first thing we need to do, because remember this is our final product here, shake the cans vigorously, which we've done off camera so we won't bore you to death. And then you're going to clean them up a little. First you're going to use your primer. Stick your primer on the inside, I'm sorry, wrong inside, I'm not paying attention, lack of paying attention to detail, sorry about that chief, it won't happen again, right. all those guys in the Navy know what I'm talking about, prime one, prime the other side, Not to touch it, we're going to let it dry a little bit. Once it air dries, we're going to use our glue here. I'm using the medium orange PVC cement. Once again, you can pick them up at any hardware store or any home improvement store. Now, once that's done, and crack it open. This should be dried. Now you don't want to, you want to be liberal with this and just keep it a little bit there. But what you don't want is this stuff going on to the threads. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Then you're going to invert it, because remember we don't want it going on to the threads. And you're going to press down. Once it presses down, get yourself a paper towel. Wipe the outside. And I wouldn't even worry about the inside, I just wipe it here. Let it sit for 24 hours and you got your final product. Thank you. Okay, YouTubers. We've just finished. Now, 24 hours later, ta-da! As you can see, this is our finished product. This is actually way over 24 hours later. I'm going to use this brass thing because I've had it before. And I'm going to stick it right in here. And we're going to tighten down. Now, what's important about this I want to use some Teflon tape. Now it's going to screw in this way, so what you do is you get the end, and you put it down here on the threads, all right, and then you rotate it in the direction you're rotating. Now when you do it this way, you can put like one or two layers on. Remember Teflon tape's cheap. This actually helps to prevent leaks. Put it on there. And then when you 
twist it in this way, you won't have to worry about the Teflon tape bunching up. And then you just twist, and it's locked in. Now, I want to use a little bit more pressure on this. So I got big brother. Now, just a little footnote, the proper way to use this is rotate in the direction and cinch it like this, like so. Because remember, you're pushing down this way, you get a better grip and better pressure. Or that's what they say when I was in A school and all the Navy advancement exams. Alright, we've gotten this done. Now, we're going to move over to the tank. Alright, now that we're at the tank, this obviously has to go on here, like so. Once again, use your Teflon tape, and you're going to put it in the direction of travel. So what we're going to do, just grab it, Take a strip. And we're going to put it around. This on. it on. And then we're going to just put a little bit on there. A little bit of pressure, not much. And we're good. Now we got to bring the pump over and we're going to make a suction line and discharge line. Alright, I got this old lead hose I really don't need much, so I'm going to go right about here. I'm going to snip it. This is going to be my suction end. So I go into the pump. Now, I need a male connect, I'm sorry, a female connection, go into the male connection. For that, We can use this. Now with this, all we have to do is very simple. We use our screwdriver, loosen this, and put it in. All right, using our screwdriver, we just unscrew it, both sides. Now, we're going to do something a little different because I'm going to try these quick disconnects which go in this way. So, with that being said, I insert this male fitting into here. And you have to put some force into this. Sometimes it works better if you use a little bit of soap and water. Force it in, like so. Put the two clamshells together, line them up, drop the screws in, I want to do this evenly. Pinch down a little, and just alternate them. That way, you get a nice even crimp, and you're good to go on this. This is going to go on the male side because it's a quick disconnect, and this one is going to go over here, so we just have to pop it in. Once again, 
We're just experimenting with this. I want to see how it works. Let's go back to the tank and see where we are. Hello, YouTubers. Well, I tried to tighten it down and I broke it. So we're using plan B. Got another quick disconnect. And we're going to put this down here and we're going to hook it up to our pump this way. Now this is chrome so it's hard to see. This is your inlet. This is your outlet. Do not put your suction this way because all you're going to do is sucking air and you're going to burn out your pump. So what we're going to do put it on like this. Now I don't I have the Teflon tape on me, so we're going to just try it out, see what happens. If it leaks a little, it leaks a little. I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to put it here snug. I'm going to get our little crimpers, or our pliers, excuse me. And just give it another quarter of a turn. I'm going to plug it in here. Because this is supposedly a quick disconnect. Let's see what happens. What I want to do now, I just want to see if we get water to come through. And as you can see, we got water coming through. So it's a positive prime. And we just lock it off. Hook this side on here. Now with that positive prime, it's going to help to prevent your pump from burning up. Put a little bit tighter siphon on this. Now, with that being said, we're going to start to recirculate this. This is just an old hose, as you can see. And we're going to put it right up in here. It's going to be nothing fancy. Just make sure there's no kinks in it. Now comes the real test. Okay, now we got this side hooked up. We got our discharge hose in the bucket. We open up our valve right here. As you can see, once again, we got it. Remember, positive suction. Negative to negative. Red to positive, or red on red. You can hear a pump kicking on. And we have discharge. Now here's the problem, since we got algae, I was told by some old timers, get some bleach and pour it in there. So I'm going to pour about a cup or two in there. And you know what? What's a little bit more? And we're going to recycle it. Or, re or as we say in the Navy, we're going to recirculate it. We're going to do this for a couple minutes, and at the end, by tomorrow, the algae should be dead or at least dying, and we can water our garden. The bleach is going to evaporate, and once again, we'll have safe water to use our plants. Remember, it's unscented. All we have to do to clean up water is just use unscented bleach and a small portion you can find that on the internet I'll get back to you later on if you would like and that's another way to clean your water or purify your water
Thank you for watching and have a good day.